Greetings, Mr. Sutton here, bringing you the Precal Honors 4-5 Part 1 Homework Solutions on Logarithmic Equations. For this problem, we're trying to solve the logarithmic equation 9 log b equals 36. We'll start by isolating the logarithmic expression. So dividing by both sides by 9, we have log base 10 of b equals 4. And since this is base 10, I'm just going to raise 10 to both sides of this equation. That cancels out the log on the left side, leaving us with just b. And on the right side, I've got 10 to the fourth. Alternatively, you could just put this in exponential form. It's the same thing. So 10 to the fourth, then, is going to be 10,000. For number two, for this log equation, since we have base 6, we can raise 6 to both sides. That'll cancel the log on the left, and we'll have x equals 6 to the second on the right side. And 6 squared is just 36. For number one, we need to solve the equation log of x equals 4. Um, so assuming we're not guessing and checking, one way you could do this algebraically, take the base, which is in this invisible base 10, raise that to both sides. So then you'll have just x equals 10 to the fourth. And 10 to the fourth is just 10,000. For number four, we've got log base 10 of x squared minus 1 equals 2. So we're going to raise 10 to both sides. That leaves us with x squared minus 1 equals 10 to the 2. Um, so that's 100 over on the right side. We can add the 1 to that right away. We've got to square root both sides now. Don't forget the plus or minus. So this will give us x equals plus or minus square root of 101. On this problem, I have more than one log on one side of an equation. So I'm going to merge those into a single log using log rules. Since I'm adding these logarithms, that means I am multiplying the 10, the, uh, 10 and the x minus 6 that are inside. So I can rewrite the left side as log base 4 of 10x minus 60 still equals 4. Now I'm going to raise base 4 to both sides of the equation. So that cancels the log on the left side, leaving me with 10x minus 60. On the right side, I've got 4 to the 4th. So that means I've got uh, 10x minus 60 equals, let's see, that's 256. Adding 60, that's 316. And then dividing by 10, well, they'll both be divisible by 2. So that's going to be 158 over 5. Or you could just call that 31.6, either way. And now just making sure that that doesn't make anything undefined. If I plug this back in for x, I'm going to be having essentially 31.6 minus 6, which is a positive number. So I'm good to go. For this problem, I've got two logarithms on one side of an equation. So I'm going to merge those together using log rules. Since I'm subtracting these logs, I'm going to divide the things inside. So I've got log base 4 of, and now one big logarithm, uh, 2x squared over 8. All of that equals 4. Next, I'm going to reduce this to x squared over 4 inside here. And I'm going to raise the base of 4 to both sides of the equation. So I've got basically x squared over 4 on the left side, because these logs are canceling, equals 4 to the 4 on the right side. Now I'm just solving for x. Multiplying by 4, I've got x squared equals 4 to the 5th. And then square rooting both sides. Well, I, I have a choice, since square root's just an exponent, I have a choice of whether I do 5th power and then square root, or square root and then 5th power. So I'm going to rewrite this as plus or minus the square root of 4 to the 5th power. Now, the square root of 4 we know is 2. 2 to the 5th is 32, so this is plus or minus 32. And just plugging those back in to make sure that I don't uh, take the log of a negative or 0. The only place I'm taking the log of any variable is this first one here. And since I'm squaring the input, I'm going to be getting a positive inside my log no matter what happens. Uh, so these answers both check out then. For number 7, to undo log base 5, we have to raise 5 to both sides. So that'll leave us with 8x plus 197 equals 5 to the third. So that'll be 125 over on the right side. And then let's just solve for x now. So subtract 197. That's going to be negative 72. Divide that by 8. So x equals negative 9. And just plugging that in real quick to double check, that's not going to give us any negative numbers um, when we evaluate the whole logarithm. So we're safe. 
For number eight, first step to solving this logarithmic equation, we prefer there to be only one log at most on each side. So we're going to merge these together. Since these are being subtracted, we're going to turn this into division inside the logarithm. We have then log base 4 of 2x plus 1 over 2x. So we're going to raise 4 to both sides now to get rid of this logarithm. So we have 2x plus 1 over 2x equals 4 squared. And then 4 squared is just 16. So at this point, we're going to multiply both sides by 2x to get that out of the denominator. So we'll have 32x over on the right side. And then subtracting the 2x, that's 30x over on the right. Dividing both sides by 30, we get x equals 1 30th.